for his full slip ring head, do a limited hand, uh, limited tilts. You can set um, soft limits in the uh, in the control software. It's got. We're going to supply it with a, a cable loom, uh, which uh, allows power, data, and video through the slip ring. And on the other side of that slip ring, we've got a 12 volt breakout for camera power, which goes to 4 pin XLR. Uh, we can pass through uh, a, an Ethernet through this switch for a camera RCP control. And we've got the video, which is up to 1080 60p, so it's 3G video going, going through the slip ring as well. Uh, on the other end of these, this cable will supply 24 volts um, uh, power supply, which again is 3-pin XLR, so that plugs into the, <coughs> into the loom. On the other side of the loom is the uh, Ethernet, so it's direct Ethernet connection between the head and the control panel. The control panel has a, an independent IP address, the head has an independent IP address. Um, our, our, these demo heads, uh, we've, we've not installed a, a sync pad through these because we've got various different uh, uh, panels, I.O. panels. So if, uh, if you need to synchronize the video, that needs to be a downstream uh, um, activity on, on, on this particular system. Uh, setup is, 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 is pretty simple. Powering on the head, we're just putting okay. Ethernet directly into the Ethernet port. Uh, powering, <coughs> powering up. First thing it does is initialize the Ethernet port, uh, and then it asks us to load the hex axis. So we select to load. I count up. 100. The head is ready. It's asking us to zero all the axes. So that zero point will act as the, the reference point for the head. So if you've got a, a, a video image um, and you're happy that the head will be in a zero position, uh, you select again and direct zero all. So that means the pan and the tilt now is at a, a zero position. Uh, from that now you can record preset positions. So you go into record mode move the head to where it needs to go, store that position, move to a new position, store that position, and then go to playback mode to recall those positions. So that goes to position one, and position two. Getting a bit of vi vibration through this, uh, through, through the tripod. So <coughs> it's important to get a solid, a solid mount with no, no vibration for the head. Uh, the speeds are selectable, so for manual control we can bring the speed right down for uh, very fine critical shots on a long lens. And uh, all lens functionality, so focus and zoom is available from the control panel. Uh, we've isolated uh, iris, so the camera RCP will be able to control iris the way it normally does. Um, and that's this very simple guide. So other other things that we can do in the um, in the menu is to uh, set the soft limits. Uh, the the limits are already enabled for uh, serial lenses, so we don't need to touch the, the 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 limits. If it's a Canon or a Fuji lens, automatically knows the end stops for those um, for those axes. Uh, pan is disabled so it can do com unlimited 360 degrees um, and tilt is also disabled but I've, if I wanted to put a uh, soft limit in there I press and go to enabled and then I can set my maximum limit just move the head to the position that I need to go to store that position Go to the minimum position, bring the head back into a, 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 a negative value, store that position, 
and then come back out of that. And then when I drive the head round, that will stop at that stored position. Other <coughs> menus, uh, you can change the direction, so if you need to flip uh, flip the zoom or, or any of the other axes, you can change the direction. Um, exponential uh, input setup uh, allows more um, uh, more of a curve on the on the joystick move. So it's got a you can put set a ramping uh, into uh, into the joystick for, uh, for more for. Um, pan and tilt rather than any of the other axes. Um, again, uh, ZRS is a scaling for uh, zoom, so the further you zoomed in with ZRS with a higher value, the slower the head will uh, uh, move in relation to a maximum zoom. The wider you come, the faster the, the, he the head will respond. So again, the, those, they're set as default as off, you can turn them on. Um, and then set set the ZRS relevance to that uh, to that particular axis. Now it's ju it's only generally used in zoom. So <clears throat> zoom, as I said, if you if you if you tighten on a subject uh, and you, you you can't get the joystick to move slowly enough, then increasing the ZRS value will allow a slow a slow movement at a tighter zoom. Uh, as Scaling will change the uh, responsiveness of the of, of the joystick. Uh, we set it to the values that we see most people are happy to work with, but again, they're adjustable. Um, uh, damping will change the, uh, the, uh, the the responsiveness of the joystick when you when you let go. So. <clears throat> Uh, z zero damping will come to an immediate stop. Increasing the dang damping will come to a gradual, a gradual stop. So again, that's that's an adjustable feature. Uh, maximum acceleration is as fast as the the the, the, uh, the head will move in pan and tilt. And the go-to speed is the, is the speed that uh, the axes will move to a, a stored position. So again, they can be increased or decreased depending on how quickly you want to transition between those two points. Um, input values are just there for diagnostics to ensure that it, if you, when you are applying a, a, a move that those values are changing. So that's a diagnostics tool uh, that will ask if it runs into any, any uh, uh, issues, if the joystick stops responding for whatever reason. Um, and this gives the, app, the, the, the the positions of all of the axes as well. And that's all. That's all of the. You can change change the mode. So we've got a broadcast mode, a film mode, and an engineering mode. Engineering mode is pin protected. So I would ask if you if if uh, people would call us before uh, accessing that menu. Um, and film mode is more geared towards. Um, uh, programmed moves or timed moves so again we can give a, a separate course on that the, bro the broadcast it will automatically default to the broadcast uh, menu so those features that i've just shown are what is available in, in, in.